Good morning class 7. This is your English class. We have already started chapter 2 in your English grammar book that is about the topic noun phrase and noun clause. Students, in the previous chapter we have already studied about the noun phrase. Today in this video we are going to study about the position of a noun phrase. Students, you know what is a noun phrase? Again, I am telling. A noun phrase is a phrase or a group of words that acts as a noun in a sentence. Okay? So, now let's see the position of a noun phrase. Position of a noun phrase. Number one, noun phrase as subject of a verb means we can use a noun phrase as subject of a verb for example let's see a an old friend has phoned me an old friend has phoned me in this sentence the subject is an old friend and the verbs are has phoned has is helping verb, phone is main verb, you know. Okay? So, in this sentence, the subject and old friend is a group of words that acts as noun in this sentence. That's why we can say this group of word and old friend is a noun phrase and this phrase acts as the subject of these verbs has found. Okay? This phrase, this group of words and old friend acts as the subject of these verbs has found. That's why we can say an old friend is a noun phrase. Number B. My old grandfather looks young. In this sentence, the subject is my old grandfather and the verb is looks. So, the subject, my old grandfather, is a group of words. And this group of words acts as the subject of the verb looks. This group of words my old grandfather acts as the subject of the verb looks. That's why we can say this group of words my old grandfather is a noun phrase. Number C. Running in the ground is a good exercise. In this sentence, running in the ground is subject is is verb so this group of words running in the ground acts as the subject of the verb is that's why we can say this group of word running in the ground is a noun phrase okay now see the second one number two noun phrase as object or complement of a verb Okay, noun phrase as object or complement of a verb means we can use noun phrase as object of a verb or a complement of a verb. Okay, now here I want to tell you what is the difference between an object and a complement. Okay. So, in a sentence, in a sentence, when the part after the verb, this is the verb, the part after the verb is not similar with the subject, then this part is called the object. Again, I am telling this, when 
द पर्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेंस आफ्टर द वर्ब वेन द पर्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेंस After the verb is not similar with the subject, this part is called object. But when the part of the sentence after the verb, this is the verb. When the part of the sentence after the verb is similar to the subject, then this part is called complement. Okay. Again, I am telling when the part of a sentence after the verb is similar to the subject, this part of the sentence is called complement. Okay. For example, see number A. I need the yellow dress. I need the yellow dress. In this sentence, need is the verb. the yellow dress is a group of words okay the yellow dress is a group of words and it is the object in this sentence subject is i need is verb and the yellow dress this part is called object okay so here this group of words the yellow dress acts as a noun of the verb need that's why we can say this group of words a noun phrase as the object of the verb need okay again i am telling in this sentence i is the subject need is the verb the yellow dress is the object so the yellow dress is a group of words that acts as a noun of the verb need that's why we can see this group of words a noun phrase number b tina is a beautiful girl in this sentence tina is the subject is is the verb a beautiful girl this part see properly who is the beautiful girl tina is the beautiful girl here the subject and the part after the verb is similar who is the beautiful girl tina is the beautiful girl means a beautiful girl means tina tina means a beautiful girl a beautiful girl means tina here the first part and the second part that is after the verb is similar that's why we can say this group of words is complement okay so tina is the subject is is the verb a group of word that is a beautiful girl is complement okay so here this group of words a beautiful girl acts as a noun of the verb is that's why we can say this group of word noun phrase now see number 3 noun phrase after a determiner means we can use a noun phrase after a determiner for example see number a this valuable speech inspires them this valuable speech inspires them so here in this sentence this is a demonstrative you know this is a demonstrative and it is a determiner also okay so after this determiner here a noun phrase is used valuable speech okay so after the determiner this the noun phrase valuable speech is used here okay number 4 noun phrase as prepositional object means we can use a noun phrase as prepositional object now see the example number a she saw a man under the banyan tree okay 
she saw a man under the banyan tree in this sentence under is preposition the banyan tree is a group of words that acts as a noun after the preposition under that's why we can say this group of word the banyan tree is a noun phrase now see number b the book on the desk is expensive in this sentence on is preposition the desk is a group of words that acts as a noun after the preposition on that's why we can say the desk is noun phrase okay in these two sentences in the first sentence the banyan tree and in the second sentence the desk are used as the prepositional object because this phrase is used after the preposition under in the first sentence and in the second sentence the phrase the desk is used after the preposition on that's why we can say these noun phrases are prepositional phrase or prepositional object okay now see number 5 noun phrase as an apposition of a noun means we can use a noun phrase as an apposition of a noun now what is an apposition okay what is an apposition i am telling this apposition is a grammatical construction in which two elements normally noun phrases are placed side by side and one element identifies the other in a different way okay an apposition is a grammatical construction in which two elements normally noun phrases are placed side by side and so one element identifies the other in a different way okay let's see the example number a rishab our captain is playing well in this sentence the noun is rishab and the apposition of this noun is our captain okay and in this sentence rishab and our captain these two are same okay these two are same one same person rishab is noun here and the apposition of this noun is our captain in this sentence these two words rishab and our captain are the same person okay so rishab our captain is playing well in this sentence our captain is a group of words and it is the noun phrase as it acts as a noun in this sentence okay number b landsliding a common issue causes huge loss so see in this sentence landsliding is the noun a common issue this group of words indicates the same thing landsliding that's why we can call a common issue an apposition okay because the noun landsliding indicates the same thing a common issue these two same things are placed side by side in this sentence as in the first sentence it is of our captain these same things are placed 
साइड बाय साइड सेम नाउन सरप्लेस्ड साइड बाय साइड दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल देम अपोजिशन इन द सेकंड सेंटेंस आल्सो लैंड्स लैंडस्लाइडिंग अ कॉमन इशू दिस टू थिंग्स आर सेम दिस टू थिंग्स आर नाउन आल्सो एंड प्लेस्ड साइड बाय साइड दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल द सेकंड वन अ कॉमन इशू एंड अपोजिशन ओके and this group of words acts as noun in this sentence so we can say this group of words a common issue and noun phrase okay so students you have to study properly about the position of noun phrase i will give you the image and you have to write all these all about the position of noun phrase in your english grammar notebook and you have to learn also